Jésus ouvert. Amen. Christian. Avec Christian. Life international. Avec la vie chrétienne internationale. Whom God has blessed me. The visionaries of the house. Look at my beautiful the wife. Peace. Qu'est-ce que 
three is number of God. Is it God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit? Is it number five? What is the number? Number of grace. Number of mercy, number of faith. You understand me? So the grace of God shall speak over your life today. In the mighty name of Jesus. Open with me quickly to the book of Exodus, chapter 2. Exodus chapter 2 from verse 1 to 10. Quickly. I need a quick reader to read for me quickly, please. Where is uh Elvis? Pass Elvis. Well, quickly, please. Exode chapitre 2, au verset 1, à partir du verset 1. You don't see like that. Exode chapter 2. Oh, yeah, chapter 2, from verse 1 to 10. Le verset 1 au verset 10. On behalf of Levi went and took and took a wife of Levi, daughter of Levi. Mm -hmm. So the woman conceived mm -hmm. and bore a son. Mm -hmm. And when she saw that he was a beautiful child, mm -hmm. she hid him three months. But when she could no longer hid him, mm -hmm. she took him, she, she took an act of borrowing for him, dotted it and absorbed and beat him. But the child in it and lay it in the reeds of the river banks. And his sister stood afar off to know what would be done to him. Verse 5 says, Then the daughter of Pharaoh came down to bed at the river, and her maidens walked along by the riverside. And when she saw the ark among the reeds, she sent her maids to get it. Verse 6 says, And when she opened it, she saw the child, and behold, the baby wept. So she had compassion on him and said, This is one of the Hebrews' children. The psalm says, Then his sister said to, to Pharaoh's daughter, Shall I go and call a nurse for who for you from the Hebrew women? That she may not then she the child. Said, that she may not the child for you. Verse 8 says, Pharaoh's daughter said to her, Go. So the maiden went and called the child's mother. Then Pharaoh's daughter said to her, Take this child away and not see him for me, and I will give you your wages. So the, so the woman took the child and nursed him. Verse 10 says, And the child grew, and she brought him back to Pharaoh's daughter, and, she, and he became her son. So she called him Moses, saying, because I drew him out of the water. In Jesus' name. Father, we bless you for your word. Great and mighty God, we lift up your word unto your hand, Lord, and I ask for utterance. And all shall to find shall under the office you place me. Father, Lord, that your word we go forth and I speak and I seize the atmosphere by the power of the Lord, by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the power that is in the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord. Let understanding be released. And let, oh Lord, calmness be released in Jesus' name. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I titled the message, I told you that God gave me four things, four outstanding messages for you. One is the one I'm preaching tonight. Your blessing can no more be hidden. I'm not here to start washing you. I know that your mom has cleansed you yesterday. She has bathed you people and I asked her, did you use uh, uh, soap, sponge, and uh, kerosene? So that the one that refused to bath is not kerosene or bleach, so that it will bleach off. But tonight I'm here to bless you. Amen. Because I'm asked to come and bless you. Amen. And the blessing I come to bless you is like this of Moses. One. They were dwelling in a land where the people hated them. And because of jealousy, Pharaoh said, Let all the children be killed. Let every child, every night child be killed. Do you know when you start being well, then you begin to see your tax men begin to. Bring out their ugly face. That's right. yeah. 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 But tonight, that's what cannot stop you. Yeah. In Jesus' mighty name, I stand in this altar as a prophet of God and declare no tax man will stop you. In the name of Jesus, whatever they need, he that dwells in heaven will release that you will give them. 
we just see the Israelites. They were paying all their own. They said, now you know what? Let's kill all their first sons. Because they are growing too much. They are growing more than us. I tell you, I remember when I went to England, when my parents sent me to go and study about That was 1981. 81. We hardly see few black people on this street. That's why you know what we make soup with. It's uh, coca oat. We blend it to use it for everything. <laughs> Only thing we see that we can swallow there was the same coca oat. You blend it to make it. But today, any corner you go, you will see black market. You will see African market. Life is changing. Everything is changing. Every situation, in every part of the world, everything is changing. And this was how rapid changes started coming. Because here, change is going to come. Let us feel that this is not going to change it from that state to another state. My business of market selling because it's taking you to production. I see some of you here open African shop. Whether they like it or not, they didn't I don't think somebody understands what I'm saying. I am telling you that when God is ready for you, when God is ready to announce you, hidden business, hidden business, secret business, God is taking you out of it. In Jesus' mighty name. I am prophesying to somebody today who bank has to return your bank check. Yeah, check book because you was drawing. You don't have money there. That the same bank manager is coming to meet you and say, how much are we taking to bank today? If you please say amen. Yeah. Yeah. I am prophesying to somebody today that men have not heard about you. But very soon men will hear about you. Yeah. Am I prophesying to people who know how to activate prophecies? Am I prophesying to people who know how to say that is for me? Oh my God. I'm speaking to people who will say, I swallow this. Oh my God, I, I, I miss Nigeria. Oh. When you start prophesying in Nigeria, they will call you, you will see people come. Tell me from you. Where is Sonny? Where is Sonny? You are there. You are there. Ask them. Everywhere will be powerful because and that's why God is blessing them. Because they crack the world and smash it. Around by it. They say carry all the false God. Every man child is in killing. Because they are spreading. Kill them. Any child that they brought in my church to dedicate, I will first call that child. If it's a woman, I will say yeah, you will be the first black woman prime minister. <laughs> if you are a man, you will be the first black prime minister. There is power in the prophetic world. The woman, Moses has been a prophet from a child. But nobody knew. Moses was in a house crying as a child. But why didn't the devil hear? They were living by Egyptians. Let me tell you, when God is prepared for you, nobody can stop it. Men can walk against you with temperance, but they can never stop you from life. I'm here to say to somebody, Moses that was to be killed, what gives the one that the wisdom to put him in a Moses, a Moses basket and go and drop in the water? You know what the one I did? Hey, God, I will not want to see this child die. Like her guy said, I will not want to see my child die. Let me carry this child. After all, the Bible told me in the beginning was the earth. The earth was without for It was covered with water and Holy Spirit was flowing upon it. Holy Spirit, that is some water that time. That some Holy Spirit is still today. Let me carry you and give you over to Holy Spirit. Thank you, Moses, and give over to Holy Spirit. You will see Jesus who sit in heaven begin to plan the enemy that want to kill you will become enemy that will help you out. He helped him. What did he do? He helped him out. When the child began to flow, why did this snake be that child? 
Why didn't crocodile swallow it? Why didn't enemy saw it? But the situation you are going through is simply God telling you you are walking on body and water. <laughs> simply God is saying to you, I am the God. I change your Lord. What I did for Moses yesterday, I am ready to do it today. That's why I said to you, you are seizing on breakthrough. It can never be hidden anymore. For oh, Jesus, for God is taking you places. Somebody say I'm going places. I'm going Somebody say I'm going places. I'm going my prayers yesterday is not my prayer for tomorrow. My prayer yesterday was to bring forth. My tomorrow is to nurture. My last tomorrow is to watch. Oh my God, as you watch and watch, you're going to see something great. was taken by the Pharaoh's daughter. <laughs> the baby was brought up by the Pharaoh's daughter. Do you know, at times, when you are going some situation, basically what God is saying to you, I'm processing you. Life is a process. When you are going through that process, when God is a manufacturer of all time, a producer of all time, hey my God, when men begin to laugh at you, then they go and sit down. You are laughing at me today. Tomorrow you will see the God at can look at you. Look at your issue today. And the sound within their mind is finished. But they don't know that you are Joseph. Your Moses is here to be announced. I see your Moses getting announced. I see your Moses coming out. I see your Moses coming out. Your Moses can no more be hidden. No more, no more, no more. Somebody declare no more. Your Moses can never be hidden. When God is ready to bless you, maybe you have one power. Let me tell you, do you know the difference between great men and ordinary men? Ordinary men fall every day with you. You only see danger, danger, danger. Every day is danger. Every day, I don't go. And then mistakenly, God wants to deal with him. He gives him the one that saw danger with him. That's it. When we open the first, my husband opened the first television station. He closed, he fell, he shot. He, he, he operated for nine months, he closed it up. So one day I pray for this, I said to him, Hey baby, you're going to start down your TV station. He said, Who said? I said, God said, I mean. He said, No, I don't want. You know how much I'm paying a week? A month? 70,000 pounds? That's the end of someone. I said, My dear, you're going back there. Wherever that push you down, there is something that is there for you. That's why the enemy wants to put you down. Tonight, I come to speak to all of you who has four. That God arise, the rest, the rest one from dungeon and set you upon the house of the king. That God is in the house tonight to rest you on for the Bible says we are there is this, we are there is casting down. Genesis 37 verse 21 is the brothers of Joseph who went and told their friend that Joseph is dead. Is this not his clothes? Look at he has blood. It's December 45, Genesis 45. December 17. They went back and told their father, Daddy, Joseph is Joseph, Joseph is alive. He's not a governor. Hey my God, I see somebody here. The Lord is changing your position. The brothers did not change position. The brothers, the Lord did not change. The brothers, they remain where they are. Oh my God. People who gossip you will remain simple. Why you are going what? What are you going? 
the least expected to see Joseph. The least expected that Joseph will be a governor. The least expected that Joseph will have the key. Let me tell you. If you know who said that about you, say thank you very much. Say thank you very much. Because they don't say nothing happened. Three years, myself, my husband, my three, my four children, we didn't have food. We have to wait for market to close before we can go and collect the expired food that day. That was what we ate for three and a half years. But on that three and a half years, that month that entered you, God said to me, you are going to feed nation. I said, why do you lie? How can you tell me I'm going to feed nation? When hunger is about to take my children, when last did I put two clothes on? When last did my children have clothes? When last did my husband, my husband and his accountant? I studied, I didn't give you no law. When last are we going to eat? When last, brother? How can you tell me I'm going to feed people? I had a laugh. And that was the end of it. In the sight of men, it looks impossible. Some of you are in that position. If I think of my father, I said, my father, the first deputy inspector general of police in Nigeria, Ibo Zaf. And look at me today, see where I am. Do you know what he goes home to do with you? He will break every bridge. He will break every bridge. You become a reproach to people. You become a mockery. But that is your fertilizer. Congratulations. If you know everyone that have no background is not from God. That's why when the test time comes, you see three. When three will come. You will have some stamina here. You will play again the other side. You will have some things here. Why? To stabilize it. To stabilize it. As of that time, I thought it was so. Is there any way today? 12 months a year. In short, we are booked 19 in November next year. Nations are even the one now inviting us. Please come and hold your program. Come and hold your program. Is there anywhere we go? The homeless, the homeless. Don't go home with a bag of rice. Carry clothes and go home. Is there anywhere? But when God said it, it looks impossible. Why am I talking to this place? What was your past yesterday? Hey, child of God, weep not. For we saw the one that when he clear your tears, a time Joseph was crying for betrayal. And there was a time Joseph was crying for scandal. There was a time Joseph saw his brothers. His brothers did not recognize him. Everything appeared before him. The Bible said Joseph looked for where to weep in this. He found a certain place to go and weep. He weep finished. When he weep finished, he came back to them. Because he remembered what they did. He remembered that they protected him, they left him. But he did not leave I don't know who meant to, who think that men have left you. Yes, it's good for men to leave you, that God will deal with you. That's why Jesus, last week we just finished. By this time last week, Jesus Christ was buried over 2,000 years ago. You see, he carried a cross on my cross. He was so heavy. They were whipping him, they were beating him. Why? For me and you. But when he got to cross, what did he do? He prayed. People who are passing by, they look at him, they laugh him. The soldiers, they laugh him. They make mockery of him. They say, look at him. He called himself the king of Jews. They call a crown, a crown of palm. Planted it over his head. That means the problem that is for me is not for my brother. That means you are, the problem is fixed for you. The problem is not for another person. Ah, some persons are different. So it's a problem, it's different. There are, the problem, each level has a devil. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I'm telling you, each devil in life, any step you climb, there is a devil. But it's for you to say, devil, I am coming after you, you won't come after me anymore. Yes. Against him. Somebody said tonight, whatever that sits over 
my blessing. I am Gigi. Béni soit le Seigneur pour moi. Pour mes fils tout autre. Tout autre. Et quand je prophétise au nom du Seigneur, quand je prophétise au nom du Seigneur, les choses se produisent. Some of you, I tell you, you are going to build a house within one year. Have you not finished your house? Have you tested? Have you not finished? 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 Have you
Joseph cried did not stop him. Les pleurs de Joseph ne l'ont pas arrêté. Pharaoh carried, Pharaoh's daughter carried him. Did not stop Joseph. The main thing is that Joseph is created to be a deliverer. Parce que Joseph avait été créé pour être un délivreur. And he came to pass. And all I saw it. Et tout œil l'a vu. The encounter, encounter on the road. Is it not the people is fighting for the Jews' brother? That went at the Pharaoh says, see, see, Moses has killed one of you. His people is fighting for him. Most of the time, his people that you want to help, that you want to always fight for him. But let me tell you, all your family, my brother, household wickedness. But in all, I have a good news for you. When you know how to hold on to God, what if I say, I've written it, it cannot be changed. Whatever God has written about you, from tonight, it cannot be changed. It cannot be changed. What God has written about you cannot be changed. I want you to see great leaders coming up here. Oh, Jesus. It cannot be changed. To put on or not, it cannot be changed. Whether you are squatting with your mate or not, it cannot be changed. Whether you are fat or you are thin, it cannot be changed. Whether you are black or you are white, it cannot be changed. I'm a living witness. When I want to come into TV ministry, they said to me, Ah, you are too fat, go and lose weight. But let me tell you, is that fat now? That they use that is my identity now. Don't you know that woman? When you do my did I say yes, yeah? Oh, tell me, man, I know her. Amen. Praise God. I am not less of who I am. I can be fat. I can be big. But what is inside me? That's why the church cannot attract some people. But in my church, I praise God. You want to be mad, come we mad together. Amen. Praise God. Oh yeah, you know you see some girls. Come here, sit down. Sit down. My church, you come for it. Don't be disco. Sit down. Let's talk. By the time they watch you two times. The same girl that her head is just lay hand in Jesus' name, Holy Ghost. Let there be a pouring of your presence. You need to change everything. And now that I decree, I'm pouring of your presence right now. I'm pouring of your presence. It's your presence that transforms lives. I'm pouring of your presence, so Lord. The presence that will announce them. The presence that will bring them on, Lord. The bless you, the enemy thought he can beat them. Lord, the bless you, they will stand. I declare of your goodness. Let it be poor right now. Let there be a release of our pouring of God's presence. At times we look at ourselves, we settle within ourselves. I am not good. I can't do anything better. I can't do anything nice. No, because. You know, and it's a pity mainly when you go to Nigeria. You see people suppressing people all in the name of religion. You come into church, oh, you must tie your hair. Oh, you must not wear trousers. Who told you that this trouser and tie your hair is what makes it? Who told you that? Who told you that when you look sick? Why do I want to follow somebody that looks sick? <laughs> Well, you are not a fully religious person. Yes, and such people, when you near them, all forgiveness, 
It's like this in their life. They carry the produce. They are closing the eyes, the eyes. All night they are coming to marry the women. Not because of their ideas. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. You are fashioned. You are created. You are made after God's own image. Psalm 133 verse 8 says, You are the handwork. You are my handwork. I will not forsake you. Neither will I abandon you. That's what God says. When you fall, get up. Don't stay there. Don't stay there in the morning. Look for what God is telling you. You know why many people fall? I'm sorry to say, mainly, mainly the traders here. If I see that Pat is selling shit and Pat dresses well, I will say, that's what I must sell. If I see that, that's what we need to sell. That's what I will go and sell. You go, that's what I'm saying. So if you pass that having problem, you go willingly. All of them is bound to have problem. But a part is selling clothing or jeans. And I look at God, give me wisdom what I can do that will be nice. Okay. okay. Let me go and say shoes. And if I'm selling shoes, what size of shoes? What size of women are here? If I look at India and Russia, you know, their women are giant like me. Then now you go and look for their sizes and start selling. If you want to sell in Britain, you know you have to sell size 5, 4, and 6. Because that's what you understand. So if you know, if you don't, if you don't watch the area you are, now you want to do something because you saw it with four sides. Are you believing? God does not believe. Does not bless in such medicine because it's not a vision. It's not a vision. If it's a vision, yes, it's selling. I'm going to produce and be feeding them. Okay, Let me open bread industry. Let me open pastry industry. Let me open. Let me tell you, anybody that carries money for hand is not established. Because money can go at any time. But when you have factory producing something and you are paying tax to the community, you know what I'm saying? Because many of you are staring you up. What God will see, what people will used to announce you is that, do you know that brother that used to sell jeans by this corner? Now we have water factory. Yes, brother. You are there in the conference. You were there in the conference when I prophesied to Pastor Prince about the water. That this time next year, you see, your water will be drink in the conference. Is that not what happened? Sorry, but this day we have we have it abundantly. Why? Because it's a prophetic word. What are you doing? The issue Christian has is low self-esteem. If I do it, I fall. If you fall, you get up. If you fall, you get up. If you cannot pay for flat, move inside one room. When people have dreams, nothing stops them. When you have dreams, nothing can stop you. Dreams drives you. Dreams is what moves you. If you don't have dreams, everything you settle for it. Once you fall, you say, hey, the whole world. Now you start looking for Maybe there's somebody that's beauty. My mother said, if you don't plan your life well, when you fall, you will say which is killing you. You better plan your life well, because if you fall, you're not coming to this life. And in Jesus' mighty name, it became a strength to us. It became a strength to us. And it's behaving us. If I fall, the word my mother said, who am I going to go and meet? No, Father, I will not. Even when I was down, three and a half years with children, you understand? And husband, no work. Three and a half years with four children in England. <laughs> but the same children today, wherever I see them, my son is a mother. He's mothering for, uh, what's their name? Hugo Boss. 
Si tu pleures pour les hommes aujourd'hui, tu auras demain. You can never be a great man until you go testing. Tu ne peux pas être un homme grand à moins que Dieu ne te teste. That greatness. Where is it? Où est-ce? I know what prophesy property, property, property on you people. Je sais pourquoi. Because that's what God bless us with. From homeless. From homeless. From a house, the house, from house, the house, from house, the house, from house, the 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 the house, 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 the the house, the house, the house, the house, the house, and they are blessed. Do you know 80% of our ministry supporters are unbelievers? Yeah. Unbelievers! They are not believers. Your pastor, you say you do something today. What is the thing? I say we're doing conference. How much is that? I say how much can you afford? Tell me how much you want to give me. I say, how much? Not even Nigerians. People like Domi. They will send checks. They will send money. I'm going to Kutano next week. They are used to go to Kutano. I'm going with a team of doctors. Je vais avec une équipe de docteurs. To go and touch people. Who are human beings? They are people of God. In Nigeria, did you not see a team of doctors? Did you not see the doctors? You saw them? Did you, did you see them? They have to teach and they treat. Black men are easy when they start going to administer returns. Now we say somebody has put something they cross. So, problem. <laughs> then, then we start going from. 80% of black men have dementia, they don't know. I mean, have uh, insomnia, they don't know. They will start going from one herbalist to one doctor. Doctor will be collecting their money. If you know you have insomnia, you know there are things you must eat. When you read 50 years, you stop reading. So, all these things, that's why I carry people go home, teach them, go to a nation. We are going to have it here. We don't know what the people need here. Well, by then, we would have found out what they need. We get the team, they come and train them. Nous avons pris dans cette équipe. Ça est non. Body of Christ is not only come. Clap and praise and all those people is good. Then you clap and finish. Your mindset is still remain the way. Touch your head and not change my mindset. Change my mindset today. Do you know what would have been when Obama got up said, I'm going to have that. And they saw okay. They don't want to say I trained you. You know what would have happened when Obama came out from Harvard? The best lawyers want to employ him. He said, "I'm not doing. 
I want to be a civil artist. Yes. So, yes, so he said, yes. so he said yes. then people would have said this man is crazy. Do you know what he would have seen when he got up and they said, no, I'm going to be a senator? They said, look, how can you be a senator? Okay, from senator when he got there, he said, you know what? My God, senator, if you see that white star, I'm moving in here. Then we say you are a madman until you become a madman. I remember when I said, oh, I wake up that they did not give me a cloak. A globe in my hand. I said, God has given me a clothes. He said, yeah, you don't run. I said, God has given me a clothes. I said, God, sit down. Stop making noise. Anytime he wants to testify, he uses to talk. But me that now I receive clothes. Oh, my clothes. Father, Lord, this clothes must not go off my heart. I was holding it. Whatever God gives to you, we can not see. Some of you, the issue is that you're not seeing clear. Put your hand in your eyes, say, God, from today, I will see clear. In the name of Jesus, I will see Because what you can never be, what you don't see, you can never be. Ask God, Lord, train me. Je <laughs> We're going to use it to do church now. He said, you have less than 100 people you're looking for a place like this. I said, what has he got to eat? So I said to him, homeless is coming here. He said, where? You have money to feed them? I said, what has he got? Every morning, I have over 100 people coming to eat in the church. I don't collect money from government and I will never collect money from government. God said, deny yourself your breakfast. If I add more to this, now won't it be a problem? So let others eat. I hope that you don't add more, let others eat. So we start feeding. You go, don't add more, let others eat. And we give it to them. And we are happy. And the same thing in our church, you will see young people, their school fees, their school meals. Then we go and meet the ladies, the they will donate it to her. Mommy, I want to donate for homeless. I want to give a homeless two days bread. I want to give a homeless two days bread. To give a homeless two days bread. To, because you're touching somebody, no way in future, God will not touch you. God said me to understand what it means to go hunger. Until you feel it, you don't feel it, you will never, never understand it. Until you go through immigration problems, you will never understand what, what it means to go through it. But after all, so that 19 deportation letters. Today, I might not British citizen. Each one they write that says it's your own. It's not for me. Because I knew I had. I didn't want to come back to England. The ones I went back to Nigeria, God said, go back. I said, I'm not going back. Because suffering is too much. But God said, that's where I'm sending you. That will be your headquarters. I said, hey, headquarters. Okay, then I will go. But you didn't know that when you get to that place, Many of you, you are facing challenges because of your tomorrow. If there is no greatness in you, the enemy will never attack you. It's the greatness in you. That's what you have to do. So I 